welcome to Faith Life Ministries International, the home of miracles. Total gospel, total man. There is nothing of value that is free. Everything of value has a cost price. You might want it, you might desire it, but between your wanting need and your having need is the cost price. If you are not willing and not able to pay the cost price, you can never purchase that item. So you go to the mall, you go to the shops, you find items that you love, that you desire. It could be clothes, it could be perfume, it could be electronics. But between you and having that item is the purchase price, the cost price. A small piece of sticker on that item. You might be willing to pay that money, but if you are not capable of paying, you can't have it now these are items how much more your destiny every destiny is valuable including those of the people you see begging on the streets if you are not needed in this world you wouldn't have been created the fact that you are created is a point that you are needed I don't care how your bed came. Probably your parents made mistakes. Or you came out of wedlock. They were not married. The fact that you were allowed into this world is a sign that the world needs you. So you have a destiny. And that destiny is valuable. Satan will do anything in his means to stop you from fulfilling that destiny witches and wizards familiar spirit we do anything just to make sure you do not accomplish that purpose why you were sent to this world remember medical experts have said before you were conceived there were millions of seed in the inside of you right from that time you've been fighting battles but it was you that eventually became conceived it's a sign that god has predestined you for great things may i be bold therefore to declare this morning that you will fulfill your destiny hey hey you did not hear me whatever whoever is contending with you from arriving at your destination they will not succeed they will not prosper i know people that are willing to sacrifice food sacrifice pleasure just to acquire a suit or clothes or jewelries or perfume what are you willing to sacrifice to fulfill your destiny There are many here under the sound of my voice that will not pay tithe. They will not give offering. Reason because they want to get a car or because they have to service the bond of that car. They are willing to let go anything. They will even reduce the time they eat in a day just to make sure they can purchase a material item. I ask you this morning, who and what are you willing to ignore for sake for you to fulfill destiny do you have any idea that your destiny is far more valuable than any of these material things what shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world but loses his soul in other words do not fulfill destiny you have 20 cars 16 mansions you have a private jet you travel anywhere you desire in this world but at the end of your journey on earth purpose is not accomplished you lived as a failure 
you can stay up at night work hard just to acquire material things what can you look at and say hey if this person will stop me from fulfilling destiny i cut him off i cut her off if this lifestyle will stop me for accomplishing purpose i cut it off if this kind of attitude will stop me from fulfilling destiny i ignore it what price are you willing to pay to fulfill destiny there is a sacrifice that you must make there are scars that you must have on your body as a proof of what you were willing to go through to become who god wants you to be all the people we look at today we admire them we look at some sports people i want to be like this person if you look at the routine of their lives these people train sometimes three times a day they wake up as early as 4 a.m there are foods they are allowed to eat and they do not eat and then you are angry with them when they make their money you are angry why they are paid so much amount of money we come here to minister to you it's not by cramming words you spend six days four days studying and reading the book the word the bible referred to it as laboring in the world you pay a price you worship before god for his presence sometimes you lock yourself for two days what price are you willing to pay how deep is your foundation for the structure of your future the deeper your foundation the higher the structure of your future may i therefore be bold to declare if your amen is the loudest you will fulfill destiny your children will fulfill destiny you will accomplish purpose your children will accomplish purpose jump up stamp your foot and shout i hear you what price are you willing to pay at 21 you are no longer young you are old at 12 he identified his purpose at 30 he commenced his ministry at 33 he accomplished his mission and yet two thousand years later the world can still not recover from its impact. If you leave this world at your age, what shall you be remembered for? The troubles you created, the lies you told, the peoples you fraud. What shall you be remembered for? Or the gospel you preach? I'm glad at my age and where God took me from, by books, by tape, by people our life have impacted. I have sons that in high school are in Canada and in the USF by the grace of God through our hand God save whatever impact they are doing today to the glory of God we have a share in it in the spirit because God got them saved through our hand what shall your world remember you for even salvation as free as salvation is if you do not open your mouth and say lord jesus come into my life you can be saved because the bible said with the mouth man confess and with the heart man believes unto salvation it is free but you have a part to play listen to me friends nothing in life is for free you can't eat your cake and have it there is a price you will pay you want good life you take care of yourself amen somebody so the bible says, wisdom demand that we ask god to teach us how to number our days so that you look at the clock of your life because your life is like a clock it's winding up just the way you look at the time now very soon is three is four is five then you say 12 midnight today is over that is how our life will be over i stand on this altar any evil assignment to stop you before you get to your destination holy god please 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 this prayer will not waste any evil attempt to stop you from reaching your destination holy god don't your neighbor i will fulfill destiny psalm 90 and verse 12 
So, teach us to number our days that we may do what? Okay, give me the other version. Listen very carefully. Teach us to number our days carefully. Don't your neighbor say, live your life carefully. Go, don't be careless because you don't have a spare life. Teach us to number our days carefully so that we may develop wisdom in our heart. Wisdom of what? Wisdom of how to live our age, our life. There is an age you get to, you need to take pen and paper and sit down and begin to say, Ah, do I have anything called my own? My own house, my own car, my own land. Do I have it? My own life, my own life. You must write it and say, something must happen. How then do I achieve this thing and apply my life to wisdom? 